WWE superstar Bray Wyatt experienced a series of heart complications in the months leading up to his death, and a doctor-recommended heart defibrillator was not with him when they found his body as per TMZ report. According to law enforcement records, obtained by TMZ, Wyatt, real name Wyndham Rotunda, told his girlfriend he was going to take a nap Thursday, and she became concerned when she heard his alarm going off about an 60 minutes later without stopping. The report says Wyndham was discovered in his bed, not breathing, and was turning blue. Wyndham's girlfriend called 911, as her mother attempted CPR, but he was later pronounced dead at the hospital. Cops spoke with Wyndham's immediate family members who said he had COVID in March 2023 and developed heart complications, causing him to have a weak lower part of his heart. In fact, just a week before he died, Wyndham was hospitalized for a heart issue. He had a follow-up appointment with doctors the morning he died and was advised to continue to wear an external heart defibrillator, a device designed to treat people experiencing sudden cardiac arrest. Though it's not known if the device would have saved his life, investigators determined Wyndham was not wearing the defib at the time of his death, they later located it inside his vehicle parked in the driveway. He was only 36. Following Wyndham's passing, WWE held tributes both on Friday's SmackDown and Monday's Raw. Other promotions including Impact, AEW, and NWA also paid tribute.